SAP Enable Now provides a lot of great functionality for adding interactions and animations to your book pages. There's a lot you can do and a lot of powerful features that can produce some fairly impressive results. However, sometimes even doing just the absolute basics seems to be way more effort than it really should be. So in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to do probably the easiest bit of animation just to add some basic life to your book pages. What I want to do is I want to introduce each of the bullets in my list here one at a time. Now this should take about 30 seconds in PowerPoint. It takes significantly longer in SAP Enable now, and it's a little bit more complex. So let's look at what we have to do. First thing to note is that animation is done at the object level. So if I want each of these lines to be introduced separately, each line has to be in its own object. At the moment, it's in a single text block. I really need to split this out into four separate text blocks. Okay, so now I've got all of these in separate text boxes so I can introduce them one at a time. Now, to do that, I need to have a time control that will trigger each of those. So I'm going to insert a time control, which then gives me eight sets of timers and actions that happen at the end of that timer. So um, what I need to do, I'm going to use four of these timers because I've got four things that I want to, want to introduce. And what I'm going to do is um, say one second into it, I want it to display my first text box. So I select text one here and it automatically defaults to animate in, which is the default animation for that object. Again, I can change that if I need to. There's a couple of other things here. Toggle is useful if you want to show or hide it, depending on what it currently is. Now, any specific timer can trigger any number of events or actions. If I want to trigger something else as well, I can just add here and I can say, let's bring in text two at the same time, etc., etc., all the way down here as much as I like. But I don't want to do that here because I want to introduce this one at two seconds. I want to introduce text two. At three seconds, I'm going to introduce text three. And at four seconds, I'm going to introduce text four. Okay, so far so good. We've now got some basic animation applied to these and we've got a control to control it. However, we're not really done yet. There's a couple of other things that we need to do. Firstly, um, if I now animate this in, um, nothing's going to happen because it's already displayed. So what I need to do is for all of these, I need to hide them first. So now they're grayed out, which means that they're hidden. So now they will be introduced. However, there's one last thing that we've still got to do. Most important thing, and I always seem to forget this, is I need to trigger this time control. It doesn't automatically start just by virtue of the page being loaded or whatever else. You have to explicitly say when you want this time control to start. So what I need to do is I need to go to the page properties. So if I click anywhere outside the physical page itself, so I'm looking at the page here, and then go down to the actions, you can see that I've got one called on page loaded. If I activate that and say, when this page is loaded, I want you to start time control one. I can start or stop time controls. And that's it. Now what will happen is as soon as this page is loaded, i.e. displayed on the user's screen, you know, apart from the hidden stuff, obviously, this time control is then going to start. And this time control after one second is going to show this. After two, it's going to show that one, etc., etc. So let's see how that looks by going to preview and the timer starts one, two, three, four, and that's it. There's what we needed to do. So that's probably about five minutes work to do something that took 30 seconds in PowerPoint. But once you get the hang of it, it's fairly easy to do. And as I say, this is the basics you can do. It's very easy to build on stuff from here. Once you know what you're doing and once you understand the importance of that time control and triggering it as soon as the page is loaded. Okay, hope you enjoyed that. More to follow. If you found that helpful, you can stay connected by following our YouTube channel at bit.ly slash enetube for Enable Now Expert Tube. You can follow us on Twitter at EnableNowExpert or visit the blog at EnableNowExpert.com.